Good morning, everyone. How people use birds and limes is raising concerns from an Austin City Council member. If you're just listening to us and not watching us, <laughs> I should tell you we're not talking about animals or citrus. Good morning and welcome to KXAN News Today. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Tom Miller. That would be a very different story here. For sure. We're talking about e-scooters, very popular for getting around downtown. They both cover the streets and also a lot of sidewalks in a lot of spots. We have KXAN's Dylan McKim live for us this morning downtown explaining why there is this concern. Good morning, Dylan. Hey, good morning, Tom and Sally. You don't have to travel far to find some of these scooters here like you see behind me. Usually you'll see them lined up nice and neat like this waiting for the next rider, but there are the problem children over to the left here. These are the kind of scooters that are raising concerns for council member Mackenzie Kelly. She says it's a safety issue for people who are walking on the sidewalk and cars in the street. Avoiding that downtown traffic, people use another mode of transportation, e-scooters. And there's an abundance of these scooters in Austin. We use them every day. Kaylin Piles and Caitlin Horvath live downtown and like the convenience of the scooters. If we're going to Congress, like somewhere that we want to get to, that we don't have to worry about parking our cars. They say they put the scooters back properly when they're done, but that's not true for everyone. We'll see a lot of them just like laying out. I think sometimes they get knocked over too, just like the weather and stuff. Yeah. But I yeah. definitely have seen people just throw them to the side. City Hall may do something about it. And I've heard from mothers who have baby strollers. They're pushing down the street and they can't get through on a sidewalk because scooters are polluting our sidewalks. Council member Mackenzie Kelly's agenda item on Thursday will direct the city manager to look at possible regulations for organizing the scooters in downtown. She agrees the scooters are important for getting around, but wants to make sure people use them safely. One of Kelly's ideas is to make the user take a picture of the scooter after their ride. That way they can ensure the scooter is in the right place. A spokesman for one of the scooter companies, Bird, said, quote, we regularly engage with Austin City Council, the Austin Transportation Department, and other stakeholders to partner on the best regulatory framework for the city as it evolves, including solutions that incentivize safe and compliant riding and parking. We're looking at any options that might be available to us, but I really feel that it's up to us as policymakers to put an idea out to the city manager and let him come back with a solution. And Kelly tells me she got the idea after a recent visit to Washington, D.C. That city has an ordinance for the scooter riders that after you are done with your ride, you have to lock the scooter upright next to either a bike rack or a scooter corral. Live in downtown, Dylan McKim, KXAN News. 